Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video. So obviously I decided to do another part. So yeah, like I said, the save point that I had was all the way back here at the, uh, actually the 0 0.6 uh, point gravitational influence from Earth. And I, yeah, I do wish I had another save point closer in, but this is actually okay because this will also give me a chance to go ahead and test a different PEA at Earth. Previously, the one that I had tested was 65 kilometers exactly. So this time I'm going to test, um, I'm going to test 64 kilometers and see if that'll work for the, for this velocity. So let's go ahead and switch camera views and get back into things. So over here, the PEA was already set. Rotation. So let's go ahead and bring that in to, wow, that went fast. 64 kilometers this time. And I'm just going to try this and whatever happens, happens. Um, I'm not going to continue on with this again because the primary objectives of this mission were already met, but I am just kind of curious what happens if I come in at 64. So let's watch our altitude, and when we get down to 2M, we will come back out of time warp, but we do want to be careful because the closer we get in, the faster things go, so we need to watch our time warp. So 20, 19, things are getting fast, fast, fast. 8, 7, 5, 4, three and there's two M. So let's go back to real time and we'll go to the prograde position and let's just quickly check our target PEA. It's very close, but just as we did before, let's go ahead and bring it all the way in to the target of 64.00. And let's see what happens now uh, when we come in for our, uh, for our atmospheric braking. Um, again, it would be ideal if we can get between 200 and 500, that's kind of the goal. But anything under 1M on the apoapsis, and I would be really, really happy. All right, let's get in a bit closer. About right here. And let's Rotation. go ahead and rotate the vessel upside down. And pitch the vessel in. We'll switch back over to this view. We'll bring up the autopilot stuff go down to 180 as we did previously and have our pitch at negative 70 as we did previously okay and continue pitching up a little bit into the earth and somewhere around 290 something is I think is where the pitch needs to be Yeah, something like this. All right, so we're really close to uh, entry interface. Um, let's go ahead and turn on the APU. Stow the radiator. Stow the radiator. A little bit of time warp to get through that animation. Coming up on entry interface. Let me bring up surface, switch to OS, and entry interface. So we were at about 11.888, I think I saw. All right, let me just make sure everything is where I want here. That looks pretty good. Now we'll engage the autopilot. And we'll try this maneuver one more time. All right, we're coming down through the atmosphere. We're at 90, just about 90 kilometers. Go ahead and watch our temperatures just for a moment. Uh, things will get really hot. Let me do a quick check. Entry check. All systems okay. green. All systems green, so we're good there. All right, so our eccentricity is coming down. Uh, our low point is 64 kilometers, so let's keep that in mind. Vertical acceleration is positive, which means our vertical speed will be tending toward the zero point and eventually going positive if we don't burn up. 64 kilometers might be too low. So we're about five kilometers, four kilometers off the low point, and we're still heating up, of course. And we'll continue to heat up until our vertical speed goes to zero. And I think we're gonna be fine on temperature, so I'm going to start pitching back out pretty soon. I think we are gonna get a temperature warning this time. I don't know if we did last time or not. Warning, hull temperature. Okay, ooh, we might actually burn up. Warning. Nope, we're fine. Temperature. Okay. 
All right, so now we need to pitch Warning, hull temperature. in carefully because we are still quite hot. All right, we're captured, but now we need to get out to the point where we can uh, get our vertical acceleration back into the negative so that we don't climb back out. Okay, vertical acceleration's coming down. Let's go a little bit more. Okay, vertical acceleration's coming down very fast. But that's fine, we kind of want that right now. Vertical speed's coming down. Uh, I think I might... I think I might have waited too long. We'll see. Vertical acceleration is still negative. Vertical speed's coming down. I may have waited a bit too long, though. Throw the air brake out for now. Create some additional drag. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to succeed on this one or not. Okay, the vertical speed is getting into the negative. All right, so we're still... We still have a grip on the atmosphere. All right, let me go ahead and bring the air brake back in. Okay, now we want to be careful not to dig so deep into the atmosphere that we lose control and burn up like we did last time. Oopsie. Okay, vertical acceleration is positive. So that means the vertical speed will be getting, will be getting closer to zero. Okay, so I want to get a little bit lower. Let's go, let's call 67 kilometers our break point, and then we're going to flatten out the vessel a little bit to get some, uh, get some additional braking. So 68. Actually, I'm going to go 68 because I'm getting nervous. So we're going to flatten out the vessel. Try to get some braking here. climb back out just a little bit, not very much at all. I'm going to change the uh, pitch angle again because we need to dig back down again. And we'll just try to play this balancing act here so we can do a better job of getting our apoapsis closer to like an orbital altitude this time. All right, so the vertical acceleration is negative, which means the vertical speed will be tending toward negative here soon. And once we reach a point again, which I'll probably call uh, maybe 67 kilometers, yeah, 67 kilometers, we'll flatten back out, get some additional braking. I'm just worried about going too low. Actually, let me do this. Yeah, so there's 67 kilometers pretty much. So let's flatten back out a little bit. And we'll climb back up just a tad bit this time to say, I just, I'm nervous about going any higher than like 70 kilometers because you lose your grip on the atmosphere so fast. But 70 kilometers is just like a hard breaking point. And we're, we're definitely going to reach 70, so I'm going to make sure I bring the vertical speed back down. And our AOA is really close to 15 degrees, which is the which means we're getting our maximum dig into the atmosphere. And vertical acceleration is negative. Vertical speed's getting pretty close to the negative. We're all the way up to 71 kilometers, so you lose that grip fast. So hopefully we didn't lose it. 
APA's 15. Yikes, okay, so vertical speed is negative, so we're digging back down. All right, so this time when I get to 68 kilometers, I'll flatten the vessel back out to about 70 degrees. And we'll try to get as much braking as we can. But we've already done better than we did the first time. But I think 64 kilometers is just a touch low for my taste. I think I'd probably do 64.5 at that at that velocity. All right, so we're close to 60. We're the wrong way. Close to 68 kilometers, let's pitch the vessel flat out. So we can get maximum braking. Information. APU fuel 90%. Okay, APA is 12. APA is 11, 10. Okay, we're dragging the vessel backside through the atmosphere getting a lot of deceleration vertical acceleration is positive so the vertical speeds climbing vertical speed is back to zero and going up We're at 62 kilometers, we're quite low. So I think I'm actually going to finish this pass and that's gonna be it. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll get really close to our goal. If not, if we don't hit it exactly, we'll get close to it. But I don't wanna go any lower than this. So we're climbing back out. APA is 3.5. Vertical acceleration is getting pretty close to, I mean, it's going down, so it will drop into the negative eventually. APA is 2.8. Let's go ahead and gain some control over the vessel. Throw out the air brake just to get some additional drag. APA is 2.2. Okay, so All right, so I think we can afford to dig down just a little bit more into the atmosphere, but not much at all. We want to stay right up here around this 65 plus range. APA is 1.9. I would, like I said, I would like to get that lower than 1M, preferably between 200 and 500K. Keep an eye on our temperatures. Okay, 68. I think we'll control the pitch this direction this time rather than flattening out just because we're so we're getting relatively close to our our target and I don't want to dig so deep into the atmosphere I can't get back out 1.7 on the APA eh. I think we're getting really close to the point where I just want to call it a victory because <laughs> obviously we have control of the vessel we don't have to worry about burning up so we can achieve our number by just pitching in and out, but it's just kind of tedious at this point. All right, we'll just give it a couple more minutes worth of pass, and then we're just gonna roll over and head back out into space. And bring that air brake back in for now. temperature. All right, so vertical acceleration is positive, so our vertical speed will be... I really have to watch my temperature. All right, time to roll back over, folks. Mm 
Okay, so I don't think we're going to quite get under 1M like we wanted. That would require a bit more practice on my part to achieve that. And I just don't want to mess with it. So we're just going to climb back out into space. If we don't burn up, we're all the way down to 61 kilometers and we're moving very, very fast. Okay, we should be fine. All right, so yeah, one thing I hate about the way the autopilot works is that it, um, when you turn it off, it doesn't adjust your trims. I find that quite annoying. So you have to fight the, fight the trim control. All right, let's see where we end up. We may get really close to being under 1M. Let me throw the air brake back out for now. One point one, so close. Let's see what we get. Let's turn off that. These are somewhat arbitrary numbers, uh, but I'm just kind of, you know, again, 200K to 500K would be the sweet spot because that gets you really, really close to a parking orbit. But then it's like, if you can't quite get there, then anything under 1M feels pretty good because then, you know, then you're like 900 kilometers or something like that. So you're not quite as close to your parking orbit parking orbit as you want to be, but you're not so far out like 5M or 10M or 20M or something like that. So I would say we got really close to that target. All right, so we're about 78 kilometers. Let me just go ahead and do a bit of time warp here. APU running. Actually, let me open the radiator. APU offline. Go ahead and bring the, that back in, turn off the APU. All right, so the way this all ended up, we ended up at just over 1M on our apoapsis after doing the second atmospheric braking maneuver. So from this point, you know, we would just need to go back out um, into, into space a little bit, raise our periapsis, or uh, do any planning that we want to do for base alignment and landing. But I think for this particular series, I'm not interested in uh, performing a landing because I've done that so many times. The difficult part of a mission like this is just uh, coming back to Earth and doing using the atmosphere as a break so that you don't have to burn so much fuel because when you get back to earth you know you're moving so fast that um you you either have to uh do a fuel cheat of some kind so that you can bring yourself down to orbital velocity or at the very least when you're you know still like 1m or 2m or 5m or something like that you need to go into the retrograde position and do a big main engine burn to slow yourself down so that you can survive the atmospheric re-entry. And, um, and, and I didn't want to do any of that. I wanted to just arrive at Earth at whatever velocity I ended up arriving at Earth at and using the atmosphere as a break. And I did that twice, um, once at 65 kilometers and then the second time at 64 kilometers. So that gives me a good idea of you know the approximate range that works for this kind of flight. So I feel pretty happy about that, and I'm not going to continue on uh, with the landing or anything like that because I feel like at this point that's the easy part. The, uh, the hard parts have already been accomplished. So with all that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching this mission. Hopefully you learned a little bit about IMFD. I know I did, and that's going to be it. I will see you in the next mission if there is one.